Good people, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. Good to see you. Thanks for showing up. We're going to take the tune, Mary Had a Little Lamb, and we're going to add melodic variation to it. It's going to make it sound a whole lot different, and it, once you learn this, I think you're going to really enjoy it. So I'll explain more about it, about how melodic variation works, after I play it for you once, so stay tuned for that. Pretty fun, huh? You can take some old tune and just reinvent it. So that's roughly what we're gonna do. Now let's actually learn how to do it. So first, a note on what is melodic variation? Basically, you're taking a melody, the, like the basic version of Mary, and we're adding notes from the scale, which in this case is D major. So we're adding but you can still hear. And here's the variation. But it starts to drift quite a bit. But in, in this case, I think it's kind of fun and worth going into. So, um, and how do you practice this melodic variation stuff? Well, I got a whole series of lessons on melodic variation. And in a nutshell, you take a scale like D major and you learn to play patterns on each step. So if we have D major, we do a one pattern B called one, two, three. So you would learn a few different patterns and then what happens is something kind of alchemical or magical that when you start playing tunes, it'll, these notes will sort of just start finding their way in. You can also do it in a more systematic way, like just learning of this version that I'm teaching you. With that said, let's get started. We'll start with the A part, first quarter, and let me just say that the A and the B part are the exact same melody, but the B part is an octave higher. So the, low, the A part starts D2, which is F sharp, B part starts E1, which is F sharp. Okay, so let's learn the first quarter of the A part. flow. So we're starting with pickup notes on D. Open one, two, up to A. Then D one, two. Open D. G one, D one, two, one, two, three, two, one, open two. Here it is again. So that's the first quarter of the A part. Tabs for this are on fiddlehead.com. Um, and now let's move on and do the second quarter. With flow. That's the second quarter of Mary Had a Little Lamb melodic variation. So the third quarter is exactly the same as the first in this version. I'll just play it again for you. And then here is the fourth quarter, the A part.
with flow. Okay, so we're about ready to play this whole tune and or the whole A part. And one thing I want to mention that I forgot to mention that I think is important is that you always play the scale of the tune and try to mix it in as you play and learn a tune. So I like to do it before starting to learn a tune. I forgot to do that, but let's just do it right now. Let's just play a D major scale. I think the more you go between a tune and its scale, the more you'll hear music in the scales. You'll see the value of the scales, but you'll also enjoy them more because you'll see how they're connected to music that you care about. Um, so now let's just play the A part. The whole thing I'm gonna play very slowly, okay? Count you in three and you'll come in on four if you wanna play along. So, I recommend that you pause this and practice this for a little bit just to get it down. Cool, so now we're gonna move on and do the B part. Now recall I said that it's the same melody as the A part, but an octave higher. And so, before going on, I want to challenge those of you who are interested to figure out the B part on your own. So this may be too hard for some of you, but for the adventurous, and if you want a little bit of a challenge, I'll get you started. How about this? I'll just play for you the first few notes of the B part. These first four notes are E1, three, open one. All right, so just that little bit, you know, and then maybe go back and review the A part that you've learned but see how much you can figure out on your own. It'll be a good challenge. You'll feel your brain kind of expand. Um, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and show you each quarter of how to play the B part. Starting E1, 3, open 1. Let's do it one more time. 3, 4. And then you can do a little pickup of A3 to open E. So that's the first chord of the B part, and if you recall how the, the arrangement ha has worked for these Mary, Mary Had a Little Lamb tunes, the third chord will be the same. So you know half the B part if you really got that down. So now let's do the second chord of the B part. That's going to start open E, A3, open E1, just to help you get going on that. I have tabs, sheet music, and play along tracks for this on fiddlehead.com. Um, okay, and now the third quarter recalls the same as the first, 
but I'll review it for you right now. Cool, now let's do the fourth quarter of the B part. And with more flow. Cool. I'm just going to slowly play the entire B part. And that's it. So I have more lessons coming on variations you can add to Mary Had a Little, a Little Lamb, specifically a bunch of Irish type variations like rolls and all kinds of other crazy stuff. That's part of the Irish fiddle variation course. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming down the pipe. And that's about it. Uh, uh, I think that's Anyway, I'll just leave it at that. Some things I normally talk about are like transposing, and you can kind of transpose each part. It's, it'll be hard to transpose the entire tune, but for instance, you could take part A, and you could start it on open A. And then with the B part, instead of starting E1, you could start A1. Or D1. It's always a fun thing to do, kind of to just get a different perspective on the tune, learn the tune more deeply, but also practice different scales with a familiar tune. Okay, so that's about it. That's my spiel. Just keeping it real, which I don't even know what that means. That's just what kids say these days, so I'm just trying to hang with the homies and kids and stuff. I should stop this video before I say something really dumb. Thanks for watching. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.